Okay, so what I'd like to show you today is the importance of capnography, and this is a capnography measuring or capnographer from Medtronic. And when we're doing sedation with patients, we're very good at measuring oximetry, and of course, one of the most important things is you look at your patient, but it's very difficult for patients to probe to see what the respiration is doing. Now, if you've got capnography, you can see the respiratory rate very, very easily, and you can see the level of CO2, and it'll give you a much earlier recognition that the patient's over sedated than if you're relying on oximetry alone. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put the capnographer on. I'm going to hold my breath for as long as I can, it's probably not very long, and we're gonna look at the CO2, and we're gonna look at the ox oxygen levels in my blood, and we're gonna see how much they drop over the time, the whole time that I'm holding my breath, effectively being at near. So this has got some nasal prongs, and it also measures breathing through my mouth as well. So what we can see here is we can see the CO2 levels I'm breathing out. It's a bit erratic now I'm talking. That's my pulse rate, that's the oximetry, and that's the level of CO2. So I'm just going to hyperventilate for a few seconds, blow off some CO2, and I'm gonna hold my breath. And now I'm breathing again, a little bit out of breath. CO2 is very high, obviously I'm exhaling all that retained CO2. But you notice over a minute, just over a minute I held my breath for, that oxygen level did not drop at all. So if I was apneic for a whole minute, you'd have had no warning unless you'd noticed I wasn't breathing. So this just illustrates one of the values of having capnography, which gives you that real-time monitoring.